Welcome back to another video, y'all. All right, so today we are doing something completely different from what we usually do. You know, I love doing my cash stuffing for y'all and my saving challenges, but today we are doing a budget analysis. Um, yes, <laughs> it's gonna be getting into the nitty gritty from the rooter to the tutor, actually getting our numbers down and dirty into this um, worksheet and actually seeing how much we need to save um, to be able to live for at least three to six months um, just in case if something happens. So this is um, a gauge for how much we need to save for our three to six month living expenses. Um, before I go any further, so I don't forget y'all because this mama brain is ridiculous. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. If you are new to the channel, I would love for you to be part of the Boss Fam over here. If you love anything from cash stuffing, sinking funds, saving challenges, debt elimination, financial freedom, um, anything in that realm, you are in the right place. This channel here, I am sharing my journey with you all. And yeah, and I am super excited to have the love and support from you all. So if you are new, um, yeah, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button and come join us while we're over here having fun and trying to become debt free. Um, and if you are um, already a subscriber, you already know what it is, y'all. Hey, so today, Y'all, sorry. <laughs> my friends asked me to get on my nails tomorrow. It is beauty and self-care day tomorrow, baby. I am ready. But today we're doing the budget analysis. This is going to allow us to see how much we need to save for three to six months as previously stated. It's going to get all of our numbers down from our sinking funds, our cash, um, our daily cash envelopes from our, um, our regular bills throughout the month. It's going to calculate everything. So we have done this before previously, several um, several times before. I actually got this worksheet from a financial advisor who we used to um, work with. We no longer do anymore, but I did um, use that worksheet as inspiration to create this for you guys free of charge. Um, I will have it linked down in my description um, box for you all. And yeah, um, I hope you guys like it as much as I did because it was an eye opener for me and my husband. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get into this video. So a lot of things will probably be different for me as um, our living arrangements here are a little bit different from how they would be in the States, but not really, just utility-wise. And I will get into that once we, um, once we start. So it is a two-page document. I tried to keep it as small as possible, but not too small. Um, but it is a two-page document for you guys. Um, so we're going to start with the lifestyle expenses and for rent, we pay, we pay 880 on the first and the 15th of each month. So that's going to be, oh, let me put my thing down. That's going to be 1760. And then we do not have anything for home maintenance or homeowner fees or property taxes because we are renting. But if you do have that then those are the boxes or the lines that you will fill. Um, for basic utilities, our water, we pay every three months here. So our water at the moment is $115, um, actually 104 euro. However, we, um, I'm rounding that up to US. Um, our trash is included in our rent, so I don't need to add that. Our gas is $120 approximately, and our electric is $180 approximately. Again, rounding up because of the currency. Um, our internet is $75. It's not always $75, but that's how much we actually send to that account um, for it to be paid. I always send um, a little bit more than the actual currency at that time because we never know when it's gonna be taken out. We have days um, where we know in between it'll be taken out those days. So I just like to budget um, $10 above the currency at that very moment. 
Um, so cable and satellite, we do not do cable. We have not had cable in years, y'all. When we first started Dave Ramsey, the, that was the one thing that we got rid of. We we're paying almost $200 in cable. We got rid of that and we actually never looked back. So we've been living off of cable. I mean, no cable for the past going on. My daughter is going on eight years. So seven years old. I mean, sorry, she's becoming, she's about to be eight years old. So going on seven years, we have not had cable. Um, and honestly, the only thing we miss is HGTV and ESPN. And we can get that through other um, programs on TV now, you know, the way technology is. Um, our cell phone and home phone. We don't have a home phone. Our cell phone, however, we do pay 120 euros. Um, I mean, $120 approximately for our cell phone. That is a bit high to be quite honest. I would like for that to be just a little bit lower or a lot lower, but unfortunately that is not the moment at the case. And we do not have our US phone numbers over here. We have our German phone, uh, phone numbers. And, but that is what we pay for the company over here. We do not have a security system with us at all. I plan on getting one soon. Um, that is on my to-do list, y'all. Uh, for daily expenses, so this is where you will put your cash stuffing. Your, listen to me, y'all. This is where you'll put your cash envelopes in this category. So for groceries, we do 400 on the 1st and the 15th. So all together, that's 800. Y'all, that number really freaks me out. The fact that we are using $800 for groceries. Can you just imagine if we was to cut that in half, we would have an extra 400 going to debt? Like that number alone just allows me to see that. Now, mind you, we have before cut our grocery bill in half um, when we were gazelle intense. However, we were literally eating um, the cheapest things to get by. We were really sacrificing, um, things like Dave Ramsey said, if we really wanted to get out of debt and we did do it and we did get out of debt super fast and it, it was worth it. But now having more children and it is, I don't, I don't know if it's just, we're able to do that anymore. Um, but we have now gotten it to where 400 is enough for our family for two weeks. Um, so yeah, but that number there does kind of freak me out because I can just imagine the extra amount of money that can go to debt. Um, but let's keep going. Gas, we put in, um, how much did we put in gas, y'all? We put in 150 on the 1st and the 15th. So altogether, that is $300 for gas. Um, it wasn't that high. <laughs> and then we bought our truck. And, um, yeah, so that does pay a little more. Y'all, look at this ring light. I'm so tired of this ring light, y'all. There we go. Okay. Um, household gets 120 a month. We put in a 60 on the 1st and the 15th. As you guys know, if you are returning subscribers, um, our entertainment, we don't get anything. I said we stopped putting entertainment in once COVID started because there was no need for us to go anywhere. So that has saved us a couple dollars because we were putting 100 every um, paycheck. Dining gets 120. Now, honestly, this dining doesn't, is not necessary. Um, this is a one. So we could be putting an extra 120. But y'all, who don't love to eat out? Because I sure do. I sure do. Okay, so then the next one is giving and charitable contribution. This is where you'll put tithe or if you have a giving envelope for like, you know, giving people. I'm not going to put anything here because honestly, the buffer money that we have in our account, we are always end up, you know, family members or friends reach out and we always end up selling them money. So I'm not going to put anything there. Um, so that's that. Um, personal spending, we do 120. He gets... 30 and I get 30 on the 1st and the 15th. So doing that and then let's keep going. We do not have to pay child care. Lord, we don't have to pay child care. Y'all, that child care was expensive. Do you hear me? Expensive. It's not even funny. Y'all, I'm trying to get my thing down so this ring light is not in the way. See, this thing is not trying to allow me to be great and it's hurting my soul right now. Okay, there we go. 
All right, so then extracurricular activities, our kids do not have none at the moment. Hopefully once COVID is over, we will be able to actually put them in dance or gymnastics or something like that. Clothing, um, we do not put away. I've done our clothing for the girls um, with the tax return, so they should be good. Our gifts and birthdays, if I'm not mistaken, Oh y'all, let me not lie to y'all. So let me, so gifts get $5. So let's put $10 here on the 1st and the 15th. Holidays get $60. That's only for Christmas. Oh, but that'd be $120, of course. And then our sinking funds all together. So it would be two fifty. Let me put this on this side. So two fifty seven minus one twenty minus ten. So for the rest of our sinking funds, we put away one hundred and twenty seven. But that's a lie, though, y'all. Because let's add one hundred twenty seven. So it'd be two fifty four actually. There we go. So it'd be 254 that we put away. So now what you have to do is add up all of these numbers that you have um, wrote down and you're gonna add them here to the total monthly expenses for column A. So let's go ahead and do that. Baby, listen to me, here's the deal. When you're not here, I'm not the same. I'm needing a new chapter, babe. You're in a bed for days I've been staring at the telephone Cause when you're gone I miss your face Late I hope y'all can see that Can y'all see that? I feel like I'm missing something y'all I don't know what it is But I feel like I'm missing something So I'm going to do it again mm -hmm. Break and fall Tear apart Issues left behind Restart Nothing you say makes it better for our total monthly expenses we spend four thousand two hundred and fourteen dollars that's a month y'all that's how much we spend all right so let's go to additional expenses so you have your home renters insurance auto insurance medical dental vision liability coverage and other so our Excuse me, our auto insurance is combined with all other renters insurance, pet insurance, jury, all that stuff. So with with our insurance, we pay 86 on the 1st and the 15th. So 86 times 2 is $172 that we pay for all of our stuff together. Our medical, we actually pay, I have it sitting here. Um, we pay 59. 66 for our dental we pay 30 28 and our dental will go up once we add our youngest daughter who we just had that will go up um our vision is included with our regular medical and liability is are covered with our medical that we have um so yes so that is good so let's go ahead and add those so 172. So all together, this will be 26194. Okay. So now we're on to the next one. So this is where you add column A and column B. So Column B was 261.94 plus 42.14. So your total is going to be 4,475 dollars and 94 cents. Can y'all see that? Hope y'all can see that. Okay, so this is where our um, 
whole total cost is for the month. That is how much we pay. All right. So now we're going to our financial planning. If you are putting away to your emergency emergency fund, this is where you're put that allotted amount, how much you're putting a month. Our emergency fund is already um, fully funded. Dave Ramsey does say $1,000. We um, we didn't ignore that fact, but we increased our emergency fund to $2,500. We felt that was a little bit more um, stable for our family. So we did $2,500. Um, maybe stable is not the word, but we felt twenty five hundred was more was more needed. Let's put it that way. So Mercy Fund won't get nothing. Um, thrift Savings Plan that's something that we have in the military or if you're a government employee, and we do put that away each month from my husband's pay. So that comes out automatically. We don't even see that. Um, so that is nice that we have an account that's you know out of sight, out of mind. So for that, um, I'm looking here to make sure that I do it right. That is actually so that I'm not wrong. That is actually 189. That's 189 that we are putting away. Oh, you know what? You know what? Actually. We stop contributing. Yes. Let me. Okay. We actually stop contributing because we wanted to go ahead and pay extra for debt. So we actually stopped contributing. We actually stopped, stopped that maybe two months ago, but before 189 was going to it. But once we completely get rid of debt, we will actually max out our thrift savings plan and um, uh, contributing 50%, 15% of um his pay to that so for right now we don't do that um we do have life insurance through my husband's job and we actually pay 25 dollars um for the whole entire month for the whole entire family and put that here so 25 oh that is a ugly 25 okay and then we do not have disability we do not have education we did actually start an edu um a 529 application for our kids we just not have we haven't finished it because we're still researching the different indexes and all that stuff that you um you choose to contribute to that account um and they will also have a utma as well um we do not have iras because Obviously, we have our thrift savings, but we are also opening that up as well. So those are things you guys will see that throughout our journey. Those are some things that we will be doing here in the next few weeks. Um, so, yes. And then um, we do not have a 401k. That's the same thing as the thrifts. And we do not have that as well. So only thing in this group here for us was the $25. Um, again, once we do get out of debt or even before we get out of debt, we will have those, um, those things I was speaking of. So for column C or group C, we are going to put $25 here. Okay. So for liability, um, these are the things, pretty much your debt. And when I tell you that this number was super high two years ago, y'all, to the point it was, it was very depressing, but I am happy to say that more than half of these numbers are gone. And I'm so, so, so grateful, y'all. So grateful. So we don't have a mortgage at the moment. Advance pay is like a loan that you get and then you pay back whenever. So we did have that when we first got here. We got advance pay for our security deposit for a house here um, in Europe for our rent. So we are paying that back actually monthly. Um, um, we pay two, 229 that comes out of our account without us even seeing it at all whatsoever, um, before the money hits the account. Um, but for the advance pay, um, I'm going to go ahead and put 229 because that is how much we give a month to that. Um, we don't have any more credit cards. We don't have any more auto loans. Woot. We've never had any student loans and we do have one personal loan left and we pay 
$666. Y'all see that ugly number? Y'all, low it. And then we have one more loan that we did use. We did use our TSP at one point. Um, honestly, we would have used that a long time ago rather than going through financial institutions because that loan actually is our money um, that is sitting in our account. It, it's our money that we are putting away. So it's a savings account. And um, they loan it to us if we needed it. You have to fill out application, da 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 da, da. But the crazy thing is, is that when you're paying back that loan, you're paying yourself back. And we're paying ourselves back 2.5% interest. So had, I, had we known this prior to when we actually needed it and we didn't go to a financial institution, I, I don't know how much better we would have been off just using our TSP. But again, we do not plan on using our TSP anymore. That was a one-time thing. Um, it was kind of like a family emergency, so we need to dip into it. But we're almost done with that, and we are paying $289 a month to that loan, plus 2.5% interest to ourselves. So all together for group D, we pay a whopping $1,184 in consumer debt, y'all, a month. Do y'all see this number? Do y'all see that? Can you imagine if we had that in our pockets and what that can go to? Investments, saving, more savings for our kids, savings for our future house, so much more, y'all, just so much more. Um, like I said, these numbers really show you where your money is going, you know, and it's, it could be a good thing or a bad thing in my case or in our case, it's not the greatest thing because we want to get rid of this area and we want to fill this area up. And so, yeah, we, we need to do some flip flopping. Y'all feel me? All right. So for primary income, if you are, um, already a subscriber, you know, it's my hubby at the moment. I'm no longer working full time since we had our baby. So we're solely depending on my husband. Um, I do have my side income, however, that is not stable. That is if I get a client here and there. I did have a quick side hustle that came to me out of nowhere. I was very appreciative that I had something um, this weekend and I was super excited to do it. But that um, money that I did get paid will be going to my subscribers for a giveaway because we reached 500, y'all. Oh my God! Y'all, I'm so grateful for the subscribers. I'm I'm literally over the moon. So over the moon. So stay tuned for that video. You guys will get a video on how to enter for the giveaway soon. I'm teaming up with some beautiful ladies on giving some goodies to you guys. I'm super, super excited. So yeah, let's finish this worksheet. Um, so the gross income for my hubby um is actually $8,126. Y'all, if we seen that each month, let me tell you, girl, you can't tell me nothing. You hear me? We finna be out here balling. Okay, but unfortunately we don't see that. Okay, we do not see that. So, um, federal taxes. We no longer pay federal taxes. In January, we finally decided to cut our federal taxes. Um, also, that is a tip from Dave Ramsey that we should have done years ago, but we never did. Um, we pretty much just got tired of getting this huge lump sum of money at the end of the year. And it really hit us and we said, why are we waiting to the end of the year to get this huge lump sum of money when we can be getting our money throughout the year? So we finally did it. We put on our adult panties, underwears, whatever you want to call it. And we said we are collecting our federal taxes throughout the year. And I'm glad that we did because it has helped us within these, these few last months that we started. So we do not do federal taxes. We do have state taxes still. And that is uh, $183.22. And 
And then Social Security is going to be a whopping $255, y'all, and 10 cents. Whew. Okay. So for our net income for this, y'all, do y'all see this? My hand is getting tired from holding this thing. It's not even funny. Let's see. But see my thing. Let's see. There we go. Can y'all see that? All right. So, I didn't even do my thing, y'all. So, seven, six, eight, seven, nine. Of course, this is not because we get paid on the 1st and the 15th. So, this is how much we would approximately get each paycheck. Can y'all see that? My light was in the way. Can y'all see that? This is how much we would approximately get. However, we are paying the 289 for our TSP back and we are also paying the 229. So we aren't seeing those numbers. So yes, that, um, that doesn't reflect ex currently, but once we are done, it would. Um, so yes, that is our number. And then we do not have a secondary income, like I said. So this is the first um, part of the worksheet. So let's go ahead and go to the second part. All right, so again, I don't have any other income or anything like that. So our total net income is going to be that, okay, sorry, never mind because this you so the second um secondary income and the other income that is for unallocated income we don't have anything that's unallocated everything has um every dollar has a name so we don't have that um so we won't need to fill this part out um so yes so our total monthly expenses all together so you kind of gonna have to go back and forth if you print it out you won't have to uh Excuse me. So A is going to be 42.14. And then B is going to be 261.94 cents. What did I say, y'all? Did I say 264? 261 and 94 cents. And then C is going to be $25. And then D is going to be 1,184. Okay, so let's go ahead and add this up because then that will give us the total for F. I hope you guys can see this clearly. Oh, wait, wait a hot minute. bad if this here was going to something else other than debt that I, I yeah and honestly this would be a lot better if our rent wasn't so dog owned ha okay that's one reason why i cannot wait to get a house because our mortgage won't hopefully prayerfully will not be that high um because our house ain't worth that over here y'all it ain't but we paying it the rent is too doggone high, okay? Too doggone high. Will not talk about anyone up here because our children can't afford to live anywhere. Nowhere. There's nowhere to go. Once again, why? You said it, the rent is too damn high. All right, so we don't have any unallocated income. Like I said, everything has, every dollar has a name. In our budget, it does. So we don't need to do this part at all. 
So our financial overview. So this is where we will see how much we need to save for three, four, five, and six months. So let's go ahead and do that. So all together, this is how much we need to live a month. We need to live off of this for a month if something was to happen. We need this amount of money. So let's go ahead and let's do that. really it, it's not a good it's not a bad thing I, okay it's in between it's in between i know that we're gonna have to save a good chunk i know we will but most of that money not most of it but that portion of debt um if we do not have debt those numbers would be less of course and or they honestly probably would be the same, but it would be going to a better cause. Um, I'm not going to let it deter me. If anything is going to motivate me, it's going to motivate me and my husband. So now we know what we want to do. Knowing me and my husband, we are go-getters. If any of y'all know us personally, we do not play. When we say we're going to do something, we're going to do it, and we're going to go for it. And I'm pretty sure we're going to agree to go for six months, as we always do. So six months... Um, so six months will be our actual goal to get to. Oh, I do not like that. <laughs> that uh, I don't like that blue. So six months will actually be our goal to get to, um, to save for. Um, but of course, this number will change um, once we are done with debt. So once we are completely done with debt, your girl will be doing another one of these, okay? So I hope y'all stay around for the journey so y'all can see how we update this. So, all right. So financial goals. Let's go ahead and write this. Our financial goals, of course, y'all already know. Pay off all consumer debt. We want it all gone. All gone, y'all. And honestly, that is our number one goal right now. We, I don't have any more goals but that, or we don't have any more goals but that is to pay off all consumer debt completely. Um, yeah. Um, but for our to-do list, our priority to-do list is to finish the 529 and the UTMAs for our daughters because that is a priority. Also to start our Roth IRAs, both of us, um, so that we both have it, um, and also specifically me, specifically. And um, also, what else did we want to do? Oh, oh, that's already down here, so we don't need to do anything else, but that's definitely what we wanted to do. Let me make sure, yeah. So to finish um, 529 UTMA and start our Roth IRAs. And yeah, y'all, so this is this is our budget analysis breakdown. Again, this is the nitty-gritty. This is getting our number our numbers um 
on this paper and jumping out at us so that we can see exactly how much we need to save for three to six months living expenses. And now that we know our new and updated amount for 2021, we will be going gazelle intense and paying off the rest of this debt so that we can start saving for our future and um, and for our kids' future so they can have a better life than we did. Even though we did grow up living a, a very good life, but still, you know, you always want your kids to have better than you always did. So yes, um, again, this document will be linked down in my description bar below. It is completely free, you guys. Go for it, download it, and um, I hope this helps you as much as it helped us. So yes, before I go any further and babble anymore, thank you for tuning in. And if you are staying until this video, until the end, um, go ahead and hit a, a chocolate heart emoji and let me know that you're still here. I appreciate y'all for staying. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Deuces. I'm no cat, no lies, it's our own